I'm pleased to say we've seen steady growth in the first half of the year with our markets in Australia, New Zealand, UK and Spain all showing good growth. And in our new markets we've seen good progress, particularly so in Poland where during the year we acquired two businesses, Medicor, a company operating four clinics across the country, and TK Medic, a diagnostic imaging company. In Chile, we're now a little over a year since we bought the Cruz Blanca Salud business, now renamed Bupa Chile, and that has been a significant driver of our revenue growth during the year. In 2015, we're continuing our focus on innovation and enhancing the customer experience. In Australia, we launched Bupa Hearing alongside Bupa Optical and Bupa Medical Visa Services. In the UK, the launch of Bupa Boost. In Spain and in Chile, the launch of new international health insurance products. In Poland, the opening of a number of clinics to offer a range of health services. And in the US, our partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield Association opening up a global provider network to our Bupa customers. And as we look to the second half of the year, there's no doubt whatsoever that conditions will continue to be challenging in a number of our markets. And yet we remain confident of the growth that we can deliver. And this confidence is born out of our focus on innovation, enhancing the customer experience, and because of the platform of global scale and reach that we have with our positions around the world. We're incredibly fortunate at Bupa to have the status that we have, a pretty unique status, a company limited by guarantee with no shareholders. And that means 100% of our profits can be reinvested back in to the business for the benefit of our customers, our future and wider society.